Hello friends and beautiful people. I want to show you what I am dealing with today and you are going to laugh. I know it makes us laugh. So let me flip you around. You see this? This is Seymour. I'll give you more to that story here in just a second. But as you can see, Seymour's roots go all the way into the high tunnel. Have you ever seen Little Shop of Horrors? The plant's name uh, was Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors, but here it's Seymour. And what started off as a joke has now gotten very, very scary. Let me show you just how bad Seymour is. Kids, this is, actually it's two plants. And I will show you. So Seymour, over there is my beautiful fig that needs pruned. Another beautiful fig that needs pruned. But pretty much most of the rest, even way over there on by the potting table, see him crawling up the potting table? That's all Seymour. Actually, Seymour's. There's two. So it started off when it started growing. And it... Uh, it looked like it was just a squash that was coming up. And so I traced it and saw that it was two. Look, he's even weighing so hard on the fig that I've cut fig over there. Look, he goes up there all the way to the top of the high tunnel. So we just left it grow and it was a joke and I would just step over it. And now friends, to get into my high tunnel, I have to go around to the other set of doors. <laughs> So now I'm on the other side, and as you can see, it pretty much goes the full length of the high tunnel. So there's two different plants. One is over here, and it's just a regular squash plant. See the, uh, the yellow buds? The other one actually ended up being a birdhouse gourd. And it, uh, yeah, I need to get rid of it. Things around here are happening quickly. So I'll just give you a little bit of an update there. All right. So we, um, I told you we were listing our farm for sale. They came out and took uh, videos and pictures. It took them four hours last Tuesday. And then uh, it got posted on realtor.com Friday night. Uh, the sign went in the yard um, late Friday afternoon, early evening. And Tuesday we sold it. So, uh, pending the financing of the people buying it, we're moving, we're going Amish. So, um, it, it's not been without its drama. Um, if you ask our kids, you would think that we were gonna move to another planet. Uh, and, and that drama was something that I hopefully will never have to go through again. And then, uh, stole the joy out of all of it for us uh it, it was tough you know kids are you know when they're looking for uh some place to move their consideration isn't ours our kids consideration hasn't been uh how can we get closer to nana and papa joe it's been where are the best schools what's close to work what's most convenient for us and I get that I really do but for us that's not allowed evidently we were supposed to have consulted with them made sure that it was a good match for them and uh, evidently we skipped a few steps and that did not make them happy but uh, we reclaimed our joy this week it was hard for us to even reach out to let them know that the farm had sold simply because, uh, you know, we didn't feel like we were being supported. And now on the positive side, the one person who did support us in all of this, which was surprising to me, has been my mother. And uh, she's usually not that supportive. So uh, that was very strange for us anyway. Um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted because I'm looking at some of the fruit 
coming off of this other squash. Let me flip you around and show you what I mean. Now I had only traced this down when this first started happening to two plants. And one was a regular squash plant and the other one um, is for sure a birdhouse gourd because there are birdhouse gourds over there. But now I'm wondering if we have three because look, that's a loofah. And I knew a friend had uh, spilled some loofahs, but I'll be dipped if those aren't all loofahs. And what's sad is we're not going to get to harvest them all. You know what else is sad? I'm a little bitter. <laughs> Tell me why squash vine borers and squash bug beetles will absolutely decimate everything out in the yard and they left this alone so the new farm will definitely have a, a high tunnel it's the only thing it doesn't have and uh, hopefully they've never planted pumpkins and I don't have to worry about squash bugs and squash vine borers although I'll tell you that milky spore treatment did seem to help so anyway Hubs and I have uh, reclaimed our joy. We have uh, we spent an hour and just kind of um, got excited. We got excited about all the things we're doing and we're going to do, and we're going to take you on the journey. We want you to see what it's like to be Amish. Now we're not going to stay 100% Amish. Um, we are going to put power down in the basement for the freezers, and we'll have to have it out in the shops. Hubs is going to work for a while with uh, a generator. He bought a another generator that will power all of the 220. So um, he's feeling pretty good about that. The new owners here want us to uh, be out of the house at closing, <laughs> and then the uh, they're giving us 30 days to get out of all the barns. So we're going to try. Um, so we reached out to the Amish. This is how awesome that this whole thing is just, um, and for that person who said that they didn't think God's hand was in this, shame on you because the way it's all fallen, the way we've prayed and the way that God has answered those prayers, um, it has been God's will. So we reached out to the Amish and we said, Hey, is there any way that we can go ahead and start bringing, um, once we have confirmation of the buyer's financing can we go ahead and start bringing some things down um, and putting them in the barns um, there's small tools and things that we're not comfortable leaving with someone else having access to it and our realtor said I know this realtor that has theirs listed and, and she's a stinker and they're gonna want rent and I thought geez that's all we need with all the moving expenses and, and the other things that we hadn't counted on was all of our insurance was due this month you know it just wasn't a good financial time for us to think about rent um, and they came back and they said absolutely you can do that um, just make sure that you've got insurance <sighs> okay so there we are uh, that worked out also so we are going to um, wait patiently for confirmation of their financing and then we're gonna get at it so um, other things that I'll be doing today, I'm gonna go out in here, see the grapes are, you know, grapes are sad. And the garden is really sad right now because that has been the last thing we've been worried about. It's just this area right here that's sad. But we've got uh, one last hurrah out there that I'm gonna go out today and pick. I'm gonna be out of town for a few days this week and I wanna make sure that anything that can be harvested is harvested. Um, here's some more loofahs and here's, here's the other funny thing. These are the planted loofahs. <laughs> we have what, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got a couple more. But nothing like what we have over there um, so I want to make sure I get all that taken care of because we're supposed to have a freeze a good freeze next weekend and then these are wait for it these are not planted loofahs these are from seeds from last year 
we deliberately just shook them out onto the ground and let them go. Uh, that was that little experiment, if you follow me, that we did, and it didn't work out so well. So we, uh, anyway, so I wanna make sure I get all that stuff and get it processed. And then here's the other thing I wanna do. Now I have left this completely alone. I've been out of town, but we are at a point now where we're gonna be able to start harvesting some amaranth seeds. And that's exciting. Some of them are more ready than others. And I wanna get them before the birds do. And the huckleberries. I'm told these huckleberries, ooh, it still feels kind of hard. I'm told they have to have a frost. Yep, because that was not good at all. Oh, <coughs> yuck. So it's going to be hard saying goodbye to this farm. But where do you see the new farm? It is like little to no maintenance. I'm sure we'll make it a hot mess. It won't be nearly as pristine as it is now. But here's the birds. Guess what else we're gonna do before we leave? Yep, we're only gonna leave with about a dozen birds. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put all of the, all of the quail in freezer camp. And not uh, try to pack them with this and we put three of the rabbits in. So here was another exciting thing that happened. This, can you see the lines? This neighbor, the entire time we lived here, just see this, this row right there? All the rest of this, he let go. And he just had rows in between. If you can see, you can see one right, hang on here. Get my finger in the way, right there too. So, he came to us right before we listed and said, hey, will you bush hog that off for me? <laughs> Which, you know, not only made our place look a little better and a little nicer, but now we no longer have a Coyote Superhighway. So that's all for today. I'm working out in the high tunnel. If you get bored and you want to come and help me <laughs> try to get rid of, oh, look at the help. I just love fall colors. Look at that. So if you get bored and you want to help me clean in the high tunnel, uh, attacking those squash plants, whatever they are, is going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of fun because right now, um, I think we're looking at maybe three plants unless the way the one went across there, it was two plants, but he, took all the space for the one so the other one took off the other way I don't know I just know it's gonna be exciting and fun I love days that I can be outside I don't care what I'm doing even if I'm pulling weeds I like to be outside so friends until next time which hopefully will be uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do any videos this week because like I said I'll be out of town but hopefully next weekend we can sneak down to the the new farm and just do just a real quick out Four, and you can see some of the wild things that the Amish people did on that farm that uh, keep their systems in place so they can be off grid. Alrighty, till next time, be blessed and be a blessing.